Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Guru951. I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to find volcanism. Welcome aboard the 46 and 2 Raxel bound, proud member of Canon Research Group. I'm just going to make this super simple. This scanner in front of you, this big circular scanner that comes aboard every single ship, is called a POI scanner, point of interest. Below that are your sensors. You want to make sure your sensors are pushed all the way to the right at all times when you are searching. All right, next up, functions panel. Go to your sensor scale type. By default, this will probably be set to logarithmic. We're going to set this to linear. Why are we going to do that? Because logarithmic does not have as far of a range as linear does. From what I understand, logarithmic has a scale of about, I don't know, between 8 and 10 kilometers, whereas a linear scale type has just a little bit further, probably you know, 12 to 15 or something like that. And we will test that out once we do find a POI. I will assure you that that is a thing. Now, as you can see, you have uh, your altimeter right there. Okay, right now it says 258. That is a very important thing to uh, keep your eye on once we do decide to go down there and approach because we'll be looking for something called a tick. A tick is something that happens when you are approaching in the glide and your sensors touch the ground or something spawns below you. Not quite sure what the game mechanic is, but your altimeter will tick or spike straight up and down very fast. Get more into that once we get down there. But that is your altimeter, that is a POI scanner, these are your sensors, and those are your sensor scale types. Make sure to get that all set. Now, let's go over candidates real quick. Because anytime you're searching these things, I want to make sure you're doing it right. All right, so we're going to go to system map here. We're in the Cole 173 sector. Just stumbled upon this system here. This is an ideal moon. It is sitting uber close to this uh, main K class. All right, very close. It's only about eight, what, 8.95 light seconds out. I can tell you right now that this is basically the galaxy giving you a POI. I can't think of a time where I found a moon sitting so close to a star and the moon was very small at only 862 kilometers with iron magma volcan volcanism. can't tell you the time that I found a, a situation like this and did not find a volcanic POI. And at that, very quickly. Okay, so there's likely that this one would have it too. I'm going to tell you right now, in my experience, this is my primary focus. If I'm just trying to find a volcanic site, it quite honestly, sitting so close to that star, it's going to look great. Let's go to the surface map. I'm going to tell you what you're going to want to search when it comes to volcanic activity. You're looking for canyons, which from this surface map are very difficult to see, but I could tell you that there's a canyon here. Sometimes they're very much, per very, very much more pronounced especially the smaller this body gets. If this body was about 500, it would look like a little potato. That right there is a canyon, I can tell, just from experience. That right there is probably a canyon system. All right, so when it comes to volcanic activity, I primarily focus on looking at canyons. I especially pay attention to ones that are very dark or ones that have bright white. It looks like maybe minerals have came to the surface or something like that. And occasionally after that, I'll move over to check over the bowl craters, the dish craters, okay, because you do find them in there as well sometimes. Volcanic uh, does not require any sort of surface temperature. You can have it as low as you want or as high as you want. All right, just needs to make sure it says volcanic. And this is perfect. I feel very confident right now about this. All right, with that being said, we're going to approach for the glide. So we're going to boost up. And I really want to focus on these canyons right below me here. Remember to pay attention to this altimeter when we get close. Looking for something called a tick. I'm just going to reiterate on that. It's called a tick. Okay, where should we search? Where should we search? One sec. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I'm going to choose that one right there below us. Leading into all the other canyons uh, that are leading to each other. All right, so my sensors are max zoomed, 100%, yo, all the way, they're set to linear. Aiming right there, now I'm paying attention to this altimeter. This tick will happen at a higher altitude, the smaller a body is. So a body 1,000 kilometers and under, the tick will happen uh, between 20 and 30 kilometers typically. The larger the body is, that tick will happen much lower. The lowest I've seen it was 11. The highest I've ever seen a tick happen was 37. 
And that is supposedly a game mechanic indicating that something has spawned below you. It does not mean it was something significant. It could have just been materials. However, it is an indicator that something spawned below you. So what is the tick on this body here? It is at... 25. Once we hit the tick, we're going to level our nose out. Not really level it out, but kind of give ourselves a little angle. Try to achieve the longest glide possible. And we're just going to pay attention to our scanner looking for a tiny solid blue dot to come across. A tiny solid blue dot would be a volcanic POI. There it is. We got one. First try, baby. First freaking try. All right. Now, as a member of Canon Research and a scientist in this galaxy here, I like to do tests. Commander Molino, who wanted me to uh, verify that my tests are accurate. All right, you got a volcanic POI. This is really small. Now, this is not an outcrop POI. This isn't not anything. A volcanic POI always looks like this. It's just one tiny solid dot. Okay, we're just going to get it a little bit further into the scanner, just to show that the distance that linear reaches over logarithmic is significant. All right, so we came to a full stop. Put that, put that POI at the edge of the scanner there. We're going to switch over to logarithmic. Do you see the POI anymore? Do you see the POI anymore? I do not. Why? Why is that? It's because linear has a further range. Let's see just how much further, though. Let's see if I can push that POI... Just how far can I push it into the scanner before it goes? Look at that. Look at that. There it is. Just starting to just starting to to glitch out there. Come up on the scanner. Right? But remember, I'm keeping mine on linear. So now you know. Look at the difference in that. Linear versus logarithmic. That's significant. Alright, now knowing that it's a volcanic POI. I know that I can basically just point my ship down there, and I will end up locating it as long as I'm in the same general direction. However, just so that I'm being thorough, I'm going to tell you right now that that tiny dot, we want to make it bigger for this lesson. I want to teach you how to use this. We're going to basically get it centered with us right there in front of us. And what we're going to do is zoom our sensors all the way in. You see what's happening there? Makes that dot bigger. All right, that's to help us pinpoint exactly where it's at. So moving those sensors all the way in, all the way in. Try to come to full stop. We want to get that thing right in front of us. We're really high up right now, too. Now, I can tell you, though, with the volcanic POI, I don't really need to do this. But when it comes to searching other POI, this very much helps narrow, the, narrow it down. Because <clears throat> many POI are very large. Um, sorry, very small. Such as an outcrop. You get down there and you don't do this zooming your sensors all the way in business. By the way, set your ship to zero here on the horizontal plane. Engage a free look so you don't adjust the tilt of your ship and just head straight down. Always, always, always be sure to do a gravity check on your planet. I know we have about a 0.25 gravity here which is uh, not really a threat. It's going to go straight down. Now with the volcanic POI I could, yeah, like I was saying, just look straight down and I would see them once, probably right about now. We'd probably start seeing them. Let's go ahead and do that for a sec, though. But this is how you really pinpoint where you're trying to do it. Zoom your sensors all the way in once you get it set right in front of you. And then uh, engage free look and just go straight down. But let's see what exactly what we would see if we did see it outside of our cockpit. Do you see that? Looks like white stripes, right? Or white dots. See that? Yeah, those are probably probably the fumarole gas vents. Okay, but that's what you're looking for. You can't really tell right there, can you? Start seeing it though. All right, now let's go down there and see what we're looking at. So with that being said, you understand how to zoom your sensors all the way in to make sure you're pinpointing a target. Very helpful for when you're doing uh, the big uh, outcrop. Because if it's just an outcrop, you, it's just one solid little shiny rock. It's very hard to pinpoint. Oh, look at that. Pulsating. Wow. This is the first time I've seen any pulsate. That's interesting. Setting my 
sensor, um, sensors all the way, or uh, my pips all the way to uh, shields, just in case I have an accident. Are my lights on? Lights are on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, these are fumarole. All right, I'm digging it. Great for pictures, pretty good for mats. Look at the size of that thing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, with that lesson being told, I hope you have a very, very wonderful journey out there. Happy hunting. Thanks for watching.